Good morning. I've been away for a couple days. I am so impressed with how much everything has grown. It does a gardener good to get away. So I'm telling all of you, go away for two days. Plus it's probably been a year since you've been anywhere like us. And to come back and not only to see how much your gardens have grown, but everything in your pots. Um, it's, it's just, it's just um, stimulating, invigorating. It, because if you look at them every day, sometimes you think everything is stagnant, but then you come back with fresh eyes. So this morning, I'm gonna show you my pots and planters um, with the railing planters. Um, I decided I would try and compare two types of uh, potting soils, the back toe, which I'd never used before, and my miracle Grow, which I've always used. And so, I will tell you ahead of time and then I'll show you the plants that performance wise, my all the pots that I've used the um, back toe in is great and all the pots of the miracle Grow is great. Moisture wise, I have found that the back toe holds the moisture a little better. So I will probably go with back toe, which I can find locally um, for next season. But either one of those, if you're a new gardener, miracle Grow, back toe really work with the stay green, which I also was talking about, um, it dried my plants out. But um, several people commented, there's all different brands of the stay green that perhaps I chose the wrong one. For me, I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna pick up my back toe, and if they're out of back toe, I'll get the miracle Grow. But let's go on and look at the pots. And we're up here on the upper deck, and I thought I'd start with a few of the small potted pots that we started with earlier in the spring that had the perennial plantings of the annuals, not annuals, the perennial pots. Anyhow, here is that lovely white pot that I put the um, ostrich fern, the variegated hostas, and my I love these painted ferns in everything. Painted ferns and then a few little begonias doing fabulous. Same thing with this pot of hosta. So simple and at the end of season, I will plant those back out, which makes sense. You can put them back in your garden or leave them in the pot because these are protected and I may not even switch those out. I did the same thing on the front porch. They've been there for two years and they're doing great. So the other good thing about a perennial part pot with annuals, you can keep the perennials in your pot in a protected area. Here's the other pot I've done, which uh, was one of the first two, and it is be doing beautiful. This is the white violet that's in the garden. Look at how green. I mentioned that they bloom forever and then they stay green all season, and they do. But what a simple look with these painted ferns, and it's just so simple up here. I like to keep everything on the deck very simple so that your eye will go down to the garden and the perennial bed. While we're up here, let me show you this beautiful pot that's on the wall. Um, it's harder to get a good view of it. It's a little bright with the sun today and the white, but this, um, this lovely pot looks gorgeous on the wall. I love it. I'm gonna stretch this out here, see what we can find. There you go. Isn't that lovely with that? the purples, the fuchsias. I love that potato vine with the pinks. And that coleus is doing so well. I do water that every day because it is so hot on that wall. But that's, you know, that's a pleasure for me to do. Just open the window, stick out my head, <laughs> and then, you know, use your little watering can. Now, the next pots we're gonna to go to, uh, you probably watched the video about how I killed all of my um, nice little boxwoods. Well, these are the new ones doing very well that I got for a bargain. And I'm not gonna trim those off until the second week of July. And then I will use these stop wilt. This one looks lovely. And I'll get those shaped into a ball to make them look even prettier. We're gonna walk over here and see my herb pot. Doing fabulous. Use it all the time. You've got your parsley, your basil, 
my uh, cilantro I'm going to let go to seed or let go to seed and let it go to flower because it's very pretty and then th the seed I use uh, in recipes too oh and this I tell you this this looks gorgeous so pretty hanging over that basket I can't believe these little trailing pansies are still doing well with a little bit of water I'm not going to toss those out yet because they, they look so nice and uh, a little bit of water, a little fertilizer. I might keep them all season. Now down here on this lower deck, I chose the colors in the pot that I'm gonna show you next because of this pretty piece of art that Reg has done with the purples, the greens, the different shades, and it just looks magnificent. I'm gonna turn you around. Look at this pot. Isn't this lovely? Just, I love the wave petunias. And I'm gonna look back and see what the name of this little petunia is because I just want it next year. And then that little peachy geranium. Very nice, I think. Isn't that nice? Hope I'm getting a good view for you. For me, it's lovely, yeah. And then here's Adalia doing great. And you know what I didn't do? All the tags that I wrote. I didn't put them in the pot, so I'm gonna have to watch the video again. I didn't notice that till I decided I was gonna do this this morning and uh, I don't have their tag. So I will go through tag them and then we'll have another video when they're in bloom and I'll tell you which ones they were. You know, just sometimes we don't always do what we are talking about. The next thing, look at this blueberry. And I did find the tag. This is about a seven year old blueberry. And this is called Draper Blueberry. It's so important to stash these tags somewhere. I thought this morning, I know I have it and I found it in one of my gardening books. And the fruit is coming on so nicely. You can almost, you can start seeing some of the blues and purples full of fruit, despite all of those frosts and cold temperatures we had in May. I didn't think, I thought we'd lose everything. Oh, the other thing I wanna mention is, you'll notice the netting, yeah. This is how I prevent the birds from getting into them. If you don't start netting, as soon as you start seeing fruit, they will come in. I mean, they're cute, but they will come in and eat all your fruit off the vines. No, that's not what you want. You know, you want to eat those fruits. But from down here, you can see how that lovely pot looks against that wall. And we do have someone who's gonna come in and finish painting the high spots. Reg doesn't like to get up on a 40 foot ladder. But look at these pots. And these are the ones that have the back toe. And they have held the moisture so well. Production wise, they produce the same. They're about, you know, they are just as healthy as the ones with the miracle Grow. But the moisture is a big point with me. And if you look down here at this wonderful pot, the Arborvita with my Swiss Shard, isn't that nice? It has kept the moisture. And I haven't had to water this. Oh, I just spotted, wait a second. There's a little praying mantis. Look at this little guy in here. Look at that little guy. There must be a nest. And I need to look up what a nest looks like. Cause these, I think there's another, here, look at this one. I wonder I'm gonna have to see. Oh, isn't that fun? Where'd you go? Isn't that fun? Oh, down here. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna have to find out where and what a nest of prey mantis looks like, but isn't that fun? Here's my other dahlia without a tag right here. And there were two in this pot, but I'm only seeing one, but maybe it's gonna come up a little later or maybe it won't. Again, these were discount dahlias. I'm gonna blame that, not the gardener. <laughs> Anyhow, there you have it. There's the pots, they're all doing great. And the garden's doing great too. I, you know, what can I say? I can't wait to show you the cutting garden. It's look, it's getting ready to pop this week. Um, the perennial bed's getting ready to pop with color and uh, so we'll, we'll all do that together too when it's time. But anyhow, thanks for watching and uh, get out, get away, enjoy your gardens. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.